I can't wait to see the Columbos again. Yeah, me neither. Just make sure to temper your expectations. What does that mean? I'm just saying, dinosaurs and huge fiery impacts, eh, they don't mix too well. Are you saying they didn't make it? No, I have no idea. I, I just don't want you to get disappointed is all. Harlow, I've been with Columbos as long as I can remember. They're gentle, but they're sturdy. If anything could have survived the blast... Uh, <laughs> shh. We got company. You, you destroyed everything. Wait, wait, Haven! There's a new kind of I.O. soldier who knows what it can do. I don't care. Stop. <laughs> 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 Haven! Haven! It's dead! Hey, hey, look, look! Just stop for two seconds! There's footprints! Clombo footprints! See? One of them could have gotten away! They're so small! It must be a baby. In the wild. All alone. We have to go now! Well, Ayo's got troops patrolling the whole area. We won't get far without some backup. Who are you thinking? Foundation, it's great to see you. But you'll forgive me if I'm a little confused. We thought you were dead. How did you survive? Why did you abandon your post after seeing the ruined refugee camp? I may be an alien, but I'm not telepathic. You'll have to tell me with your mouth. What's wrong with him? He's just standing there like an oaf. Maybe he lost his voice? Who cares? He's back! Let's show him to scientist! He'll be so happy! No, we can't do that. <sighs> I know you don't want to hear this imagined, but his spontaneous appearance here, paired with overwhelming evidence of his demise, leads me to one conclusion. This Foundation is an imposter. Oh, sure. An imposter with an exact replica of Foundation's one-of-a-kind suit? Why didn't I see it before? Well, how would you explain it? Uh... He, um, let's just let the scientist take a look. Oh, sure. Show the grieving guy an alien wearing his dead friend like a sock. Really stellar idea. So what's your plan? We can't interrogate him if he won't speak. Correct. We'll have to dissect him. Dissect? Do you want to be the one to tell scientists? Oh, hey, turns out your friend miraculously survived. But just to be safe, we cut him in half. Hey, uh, blue guy and, uh, and Wendy's girl. What did you call me? I need one of you to help Haven and I search for missing dinosaur. Don't laugh. This is really important to her. I had to track prey all the time to survive in the wild. If you need something found, I'm your guy. Great, follow me. Imagined, while I'm gone, do not mess with whatever's pretending to be foundation. Don't do it. Psh, yeah, <laughs> you're not the boss of me. This video is sponsored by Rec Room. Hey viewers, have you heard of Rec Room? It's a great place to meet other gamers like yourself. It offers a unique social platform for gamers to interact, so don't play alone. With an open world voice chat, you'll be able to chat and crossplay over multiple platforms. We're talking iPhone, iPad, Android, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox, Steam, and all of the major VR platforms. With over 12 million rooms and games to explore, Rec Room is a truly epic experience. Customize your avatar and hop into a room. From there, you can join games, chat, or just hang out. Party it up with friends from all around the world. There's tons of awesome games to choose from. From shooters to puzzlers to races, there's no limit to how to play on Rec Room. Our favorite is Space Survivor, a tower defense style game where you fend off hordes of alien creatures. The best part of Rec Room is that it's free. Yeah, free. Click the link in the description below or scan the QR to get started on it today. Now, back to the video. So, we're searching a huge forest for a tiny baby dinosaur whose tracks have disappeared. I've got a theory about that. The blast probably drove it pretty deep into the woods where IO guards likely scooped it up. Clombos are full of all sorts of valuable natural enzymes, meaning they probably took it to a base to extract them. Clombos need fresh bodies of water to drink and to regulate their body temperature. So, 
We need a base near the lake. Turns out, there's one north of Tilted Towers. How lucky is that? You sure? It'll take us hours to hike all the way out there. Good excuse to burn some calories. Come on, pick up the pace. We owe this darling baby Clombo a speedy rescue. <sighs> you know this is a stretch, right? The easiest explanation for all this is... That it's dead? Sure. You know, when Haven was gone, I don't want to look for high, though. And yet... You got lucky. Maybe she will, too. Okay, a little weld here, some soldering there. She should be good to go. Whew. For how much grief and trauma I've channeled into this thing, that should have been way easier. I just wish Foundation could see it. And he can! Foundation, you're alive! Too overcome with joy for words, huh, pal? That's okay. I'll do the sappy monologuing for both of us. Actually, about that. He hasn't spoken a word since Origin and I found him. Huh. Maybe his comm system is busted? Let me do a quick diagnostic scan. Nope. Everything's functional. He can hear us, he can speak to us, he just doesn't want to. I guess it could be a minor stroke, but he's walking okay. I'll get a brain scan from his suit. All clear up there too. So whatever he's going through is psychological. Are you saying he needs therapy? Yep. And all that realm of the mind stuff is beyond me. Lucky for you, as of yesterday, we have a sorcerer on our side. Strange is a little... eccentric. What if he does more harm than good? All I know is, I can't fix Foundation by myself. And if science isn't working, why not try magic? Haven, can you be 100% certain the baby's here? Given the, uh... Large quantity of guards. One couldn't blame me for checking out the places first. Or, you know, going home and calling this whole thing off. I know she's here. It's a she now. She it? Whatever. I can feel something pulling me towards this place. I can't describe it. We have to look. Do either of you have the schematics for the base? Um... Uh... You've done no recon. Yeah, I'm a discovery heister. Yeah, figure things out as I go along. Uh... We need intel if this is going to work. Leave it to me. Halt! What are you? Oh. <coughs> hey, hey! Where are you taking me? We're looking for a baby dinosaur. About the size of... A dog. Ring any bells? A baby dog-sized dinosaur? In the middle of an I.O. camp? Do you hear how ridiculous you sound? See, that's what I was going to say. Move aside. What? If you can't get this guy to spill his guts, give me a try. I'm telling the truth, I swear! What are your lies worth, I wonder? Food. A safe place to sleep. Are they worth being cut open and left to die like an animal? Like so many of the innocent Columbos you've gutted? You'd better say something before I take your silence as an answer. Okay, okay! There was a dinosaur thing here, like a little baby about dog size. But Commander Gunner took it to his private airship, said he wanted it for some special reason. That's all I know, I swear! They barely tell guys like me anything! Thank you, guard. You've been very helpful. Let's get out of here, now. Ah! Oh, Mr. Sorcerer! You busy? Until you walked up, I was meditating. My buddy Foundation is all screwed up in the head. For some reason, he... Won't talk to anybody. Scientists gave you the rundown. Some monks at Kamartage took vows of silence to strengthen their connection to the mystic arts. Maybe your friend found enlightenment. If he was enlightened, would he still have the huge blade on his arm? Fair point. Allow me to check his aura. look good. It's strange. He seems so calm, but he's in immense psychological pain. Foundation, if you can hear me, I want you to meditate on what's bothering you. I'll see what you see and try to guide you to a peaceful state.
<laughs> easy, easy. It's okay. I've got you. What's wrong with him? He's experienced something extremely traumatic. The memory is leaking dark energy into his soul, polluting his entire being. Can I slap some sense into him? No. He needs to be separated from all violence of any kind. Violent thoughts, actions, anything that could stoke his rage. That sounds easy enough. Just think happy thoughts, Foundation. Rainbows, baby birds, uh, little fluffy things. Just anything but getting brutal revenge on those who wronged you. No, imagined. Try not to use that phrasing. Right, Foundation, just think about anything except ripping your enemy's limb from bloody limb. Why would you say that? I'm casting a wide net! Now look what you've done. If he carries out this revenge fantasy, if he does something really violent, he might not be able to get himself back. You have to stop him, now. Foundation, wait! We're here. Stay low and follow me. Raiding an IO commander's private airship. What could go wrong? As long as nobody blows our cover by complaining loudly, we'll be okay. Just watch out for the tank. Last chance to back out, guys. Guards are one thing, but that up there is the belly of the beast. I don't want to sound callous, but... Too late. You need to ask yourself if one small dinosaur is worth you risking your life. They did the same for me, more times than I can count. So I'm doing this, whether you're coming or not. I'll be there, if only to stop you getting beat too badly. <sighs> Guess I'm outvoted. Why aren't there any guards? Then a break. Or waiting inside to pounce on us. We've come too far to turn back now. More loopers. How lovely. Welcome, and another region of the Seven. Can a trap work too well? Told you no gods was too good to be true. Oh, that's not part of any ruse. Your redhead friend took them out on her way here. You fought the imagined. Calling it a fight would be generous. She miscalculated, and I punished her for it. Then in the interest of proving myself superior, I am forced to kick your butt. Guess it's pointless to interrogate him till he's on his knees. Let's show him what we got. No energy shield this time, eh? Recharging. But I don't miss it. There's no substitute for getting your hands dirty. You won't get away with this. I already have. <laughs> Where are we? This is a Clombo cage. Is that why you stormed in to check on the baby? Please, let me see her. I just want to know she's safe. Oh, you could see her for sure, but not for another six to eight hours or so. What do you mean? <laughs> Though, I did have her with some champagne. And those bubbles do quite the number on my tummy. <laughs> Give it four hours, then you'll all be back together. You're disgusting. I'm sorry, Haven. What do you mean? Somebody, tell me where the baby is. Haven. He ate her. No! <gasps> you make it sound so uncivilized. The Order has some of the best chefs on the island. Your dinosaur was a perfect medium rare. Some butter, a little garlic, mwah, perfection. I'm gonna kill you. You're welcome to try. Though from in there, I don't like your chances. <laughs> Imagined. What's up? Any progress? Uh, uh, he's going. He's going to steal. Steal what? My tools? My heart? Flattered, but not interested. The battle bus. Foundation, wait. That's a prototype. She's not road ready yet. What are you doing, Foundation? Where is he going? To get revenge. Strange says if he succeeds, he might be stuck like that forever. Then let's hope he makes the right choice.
stop. Look who's back. I was counting the days. What's he doing here? I told Imagine to keep him away from danger. Thank God you didn't listen. I know what you're thinking. Is revenge really worth risking another defeat? Another humiliation? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You remember in the first time how much it hurt? You're imagining what I'm capable of. Foundation. Over here! Foundation. What a joke. You're as brittle as a new recruit. Make the smart choice. Turn around and never come back here. What? You're, you're just gonna kill me? You think that'll change anything? Fine. Don't keep me waiting then. Do it! You saved us. Thanks, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> 